What's going on everyone? A, uh, a customer told me to try turning the camera around and maybe talk more to you guys. Um, I'm Avery, I'm the one that runs AZ Auto Hunters with my dad. Uh, making this video really to go over my personal Corvette. Uh, there are a couple videos on the channel, on our Instagram, um, you know, showing the car and all that. But this is like the car that pretty much represents us, uh, the stuff that we like dealing in, modified sports cars here out in Arizona. Um, but yeah, I want to kind of just go over the car itself, uh, you know, what it means to me the setup on it, and uh, I just like sharing the stuff with everyone that is interested or even cares. Um, not really making this video to get views, I can care less, but I like sharing more of my passion, I guess. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna turn this camera around and uh, we'll talk about the beast here. So this is a car that we had sold originally to a friend of mine, Luis, when it was just heads cam. Traded in at O'Reilly Chevrolet. I bought it at auction and then I shortly sold it to him. Later on, he had it for a couple years and over that time he uh, went all out and decided that it needed a lot more power. So the setup on the car, still an LS7. <clears throat> it is a sleeved LS7 block. I think Zimmerman Performance here in town did the sleeve work. Um, it's got a Dragon Slayer's crank, uh, TSP I-beam rods, CP 10 to 1 pistons, uh, West Coast cylinder heads, stage two heads. It's got a custom grind um, cam, motion cam. No idea what the specs are. We kind of lost a lot of the information on this car. But in the end of the day, it's my car and you know I'm not too upset about that. Um, there's a, what else do we have? American Racing two inch headers all the way back to factory NPP mufflers, which I actually put on this car. And then Austin at BMR did the muffler mod. I love the sound of it. I think it sounds awesome. Uh, there's some videos on our channel if you wanna hear it. The Atomic MSD manifold, this is non-ported. We do have a Nick Williams 103 boost spec throttle body. Uh, I love this throttle body because it's it doesn't have the big motor sticking out the side. So it's a slimmer design. So it's, I like that a lot. Um, K-Tech plug wires. K-Tech is the, uh, they're a pimp when it comes to the Corvette racing organization. Cause I think they work with GM. They are very heavily involved on the C5R, C6. They've been around since the eighties. These guys know their LS motors, but they know Corvettes really well. They make a lot of awesome products, but I had to often get their, uh, their plug wires. I was doing a whole tune-up at the time, so I figured that's a good chance to upgrade that stuff. Uh, it's got a Vortec YSI V7 blower. Um, me and this blower have had a really good time together. Uh, you know, after I did the tune-up, which consisted of new plugs, service the injectors, we clean them with Oz Injection, AUS, and Tempe. And then the plug wires went out for a drive, came back. My front seal impeller seal decided it wanted to start leaking out of the into of the compressor so at that point i knew i had to pull the blower off so i figured hey you know what let me upgrade this thing so i went on supercharger rebuilds i bought new bearings new seals for everything and then they had a billet eight blade uh, blower wheel but unfortunately i didn't really think of it let me grab the other wheel I thought I was upgrading somewhat. I somewhat did, but this is the, the cast wheel, right? This is the cast wheel. And the one that I thought I was really upgrading to is a billet wheel, which is, it's in there. You can't really see it too bad. Um, the volute on that one's a lot lower, which means it's not gonna make as much boost. So this factory cast wheel is actually taller than the one I put in there. But amazingly, it still made the same power as before on five pounds less of boost, and it's made awesome torque, and the power band's ridiculous. 
This thing peaks power right at like 20, that 6,500. And uh, we're actually over spinning this blower. I have a 2.7 uh, ANA pulley, but because of the, the volume on the wheel is a lot lower, you know, it's at its max threshold for boost. So even if I put the 2.9 pulley back on, it'll still make the same boost. So eventually we're actually gonna put that stock wheel back in and then it should pick up, I'm gonna guess maybe five pounds and uh, we should be right at a thousand, maybe a little bit more. Uh, currently it made 943 or 945 and 890 wheel torque um, on E90. This was tuned by Rhett here in Arizona at Black Market Racing on a dyno jet. Uh, his tunes are awesome. He's tuned a couple boosted vets for me now and he's done great. So I highly recommend him. We all got some other great parts. Uh, we have the Pro Charger intercooler. <clears throat> I do have meth injection. I'm not dependent on that. So if that kit fails, it's not the end of the world. Um, but it's mainly there if I need uh, some better IETs. But right now it runs really good. Uh, it's got the CPR catch can. This thing's badass. Um, I have this breather line, which I probably could cap off, but I tapped it into here. Uh, originally, I tried running a filter on this and it didn't like it very much. Um, but the whole reason why this is routed here now is because I don't have an intake to tap it into. Plus, I didn't like how it looks. So I got rid of that hard line, ran that there. And it's got the Holly valve covers with, with uh, Dash 10 um, bungs welded on for the, the crankcase. So love the car, love the setup. It is on a flex fuel tune. Uh, I probably will never run 91 in it unless I need to get somewhere. Um, I would not trust this car uh, doing a pull on 91 just because of how much boost and power it's making. Um, it does have the a and &A, uh, fuel system as well, which is, it has a double pumper. So you have a feed line on the driver's side tank, taps in on the very bottom, feeds twin Holly pumps, runs all the way up to your rail. And this is a return style, so you actually have a fuel return going right here to your your regulator, and then you have a return line that goes all the way back to your driver's side tank again. And there's actually a little fitting above, a couple inches above the feed line. Um, and we're actually about maxed out on that. I do have an upgraded in tank pump. It's a Walboro 450, so I do have a little bit better feeling, but. Uh, eventually when we change that wheel back and pick up boost, we're going to actually upgrade to a Magna fuel 750 and it's going to have all the fuel in the world. We'll never have to worry about it for a while unless I try to get crazy and want to build, you know, 13, 1400 horsepower. Um, but that's a, a little more than what I want for this car specifically, but huge fan of the C6s. This is actually my third vet third C6. Um, if I would ever get rid of it, it would probably be for a ZR1. But at that point, I'm making, you know, quite a bit of power to not even make sense at that point. Um, interior is pretty basic on this car. I did upgrade to a Centennial uh, suede steering wheel. These things are cheap too. These are, this was a little under 300 bucks. Let's if I can get the sun out. Under 300 bucks, you swap the airbag over. So 2012, 2013 style, super easy mod. Just don't forget to undo your battery so it doesn't blow off in your face. Um, and another upgrade I did was this MGW shifter and shout out to my friend, Sean, who sold me this. And uh, he sold me some other parts for my girl's car as well. The MGW shifter is the shit. That thing's awesome. So a big fan of that as well. <clears throat> also have a dash logic here the dash logic's awesome i really recommend it to you guys you can monitor your timing your boost go pull boost in off the map sensor see if i can get it to load up shut this door yeah, you can even run your, your MPP exhaust off your mirror switch. You can actually cycle it through. Let's see if I can start it. Yeah, 
So this is awesome to have. I don't actually have an AFR gauge yet. We're gonna do a A pillar, but I can actually watch knock. Uh, and there's a there's a bunch of things that you can actually scroll through. Um, trans temp, even uh, you can set up your your flex fuel ethanol content. I haven't done that yet, but there's a way you can look at that stuff on your display. Boost, awesome stuff. Same for your heads up, you can actually monitor some stuff on there as well. Uh, for wheels, we are running the Weld S71s, which I know it's played out, but it's one of the few wheels that I think looks perfect on a Corvette. So I run them on all my vets. The last three I've had, I've had a set. Um, 18 inch skinnies, these are 18 by four, I believe, with a six inch wide tire. Um, and then we also have the 17 by 10. You know, this is like the go-to setup, 305, 45. This is a 20 inch tall tire um it actually hooks pretty decent if i'm doing if i'm in second gear it's gonna blow these up like nothing um but third gear around 60 it hooks pretty decent with these um i don't know how long it'll hook like that for it definitely needs a um a 15 inch but uh we are still stock drivetrain that's another thing that's kind of holding me back from even wanting to take it to the track so it's really good for roll racing, um, but I just, I don't feel like blowing the trans up just yet. Um, another thing I did with this car is we did the Marimoto LEDs. So let me turn these on. These things are awesome. The LEDs come out through the camera pretty weird, but these headlights or tail lights, they look sick. Big fan of them. Um, but yeah, I mean, future plans with the car, not really a whole lot uh, mechanical other than changing that blower wheel out in the in the fuel pump. And other than that, probably gonna leave it stock or leave it the way it is for a little while. Not stock, this thing ain't stock. Um, and then maybe eventually uh, we'll do an air to water setup and redo the whole intake design, intake manifold. Um, as well as build the drivetrain. I do have a spare TR60 over there to rebuild. Um, but I think this summer I'm gonna focus more on uh, cosmetic stuff. Um, I wanna redo all the splitters because they're pretty torn up due to, I'm debating on doing a carbon diffuser or sticking with, with a gloss black for the splitter because a lot of the accents on this car are actually painted gloss black, including that rear diffuser, the wing, um, even on the side vents, front and rear, even stuff in the interior is painted gloss black and it looks really good. So really up in the air on that. Um, and then part of me actually wants to do the satin black on the roof that's painted black. It matches this stuff a little bit better when it's satin black. Uh, a customer of mine has his Corvette like that, and I think it looks really good. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, you know, kind of go over the setup on this car. Um, if you guys have questions about your own Corvettes, I've learned a lot owning these, and I'm not going to say I know everything about them, but if you have questions about yours, maybe, uh, you know, leave a comment because I don't mind helping out, answer some stuff that I've learned. Um, you know, fixing these cars. So I, I broke a lot of stuff on these cars too. Um, but if you, this is the first time you've seen this video or even on my channel, uh, what we do is we buy and sell cool cars. I buy and sell stuff that I would personally own. My business is called AZ Auto Hunters and you can go on my website or Instagram, azautohunters.com. Um, but I specialize in stuff I know, which is Corvettes, STIs, Evos, and then the in-between Mustang Camaros, um, you know, a, a lot of stuff I have is not uh, stock. And that's kind of what we look for because in my eyes, you buy something modded, you're saving a lot of money too. For example, we have this, this car actually ran high nines. It's a base C6 with a blower. 
Um, by the way, the date is January 22nd. So just keep that in mind if you do look at my cars and this video is old. Um, there'll be another video on this car. This is actually my girl's car that we got rear-ended in. But this thing's a bad bitch. This one's got a Magnuson uh, 2300 heartbeat blower. Full exhaust, DSX fuel system. Uh, she just got a, another or a better cam. She got a TSP stage three blower cam. And she recently just put on this nice drag pack, which was also from Sean. Thank you, Sean, again. Uh, she also upgraded to one LE car Recaro's, one LE suede steering wheel. This car is nasty for sure. And then we have some other fun stuff. Uh, these are all for sale. This is a heads cam 09Z06. This is a Mamo heads cam package, custom spec cam. Uh, 2016 GT350. I also have this intake full exhaust uh 2008 base it's got really nice wheels great for someone that wants to decide what heads cam package they want to get um this is another cool one it's a 17 c7 base it's got headers exhaust and a cam uh sounds really good and then next door we actually have uh some more stuff uh mainly my dad's inventory but he deals a lot in some of the c5 corvettes and um, some everyday stuff too, but yeah, like I said, if you want to see what we have, what all we have, just go to azautohunters.com. And then, real quick, in the video, this STI will actually do a little go over on that one too. If you guys care, like I said, I really don't care how many views I get, um, but I like sharing some cool stuff that I do for a living. Um, but this is my daily. This is actually. Not the one I had originally, but I had a blue 04 STI that kind of started all of this modded car dealing stuff. Um, and we may talk about that later on, but this is a cool car that we'll get to uh, whenever I decide to make a video, I guess, right? But it's a lot of fun. But anyways, thanks for watching. Um, now you guys are a little bit familiar with our fun toy car, the Velocity Yellow Z06. I really don't think I want to get rid of this car ever. Um, but I guess we'll see, right? It's just hard to beat this thing. It's just a lot of fun. But anyways, thanks for watching my video. And have a great day.